Yannick Sinner versus Carlos Alcaraz. It's the second semi-final for the men's event at Indian Wells for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to the semi-final stage. Alcaraz started the tournament off as the number one seed. And we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on the qualifier, Kokonakis. This was no problem for Alcaraz. Getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, he take on the 31st seed, Griegspor, who'd been very, very good this season. And after a close first set, Alcaraz dispatched him, 7-6, 6-3. In the fourth round, he take on Draper, the exciting young Brit, who had just beaten Andy Murray in the previous round. But unfortunately, Draper got injured after a set, and Alcaraz got the easy win. 6-2, 2 love retirement to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number eight seed, Ojele Asim, who had just saved multiple match points in the previous round against Tommy Paul. And even though Felix had had a 3-0 record over Alcaraz, Alcaraz won easily in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. Sinner started the tournament off as the number 11 seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Richard Gasquet, the veteran. And under a close second set, Sinner would get through in straight, 6-3, 7-6. In the third round, he'd take on another Frenchman, Manorino. And again, he'd have to battle through a tiebreaker set. We got through in straights, 7-6, 6-4. In the fourth round, he'd take on Stan Vavrinka, who had just come off a very epic match against the seven seed Runa. But they had played in Rotterdam a couple of weeks before, and Sinner just replicated that score, getting through Stan in straights, 6-1, 6-4, to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on the number four and defending champion, Taylor Fritz, who had been very impressive throughout the week. And after dropping the second set, Sinner would have to fight in three, getting through 6-4, 4-6, 6-4 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played four times before with the head-to-head -head split down the middle, two apiece, with their last match being a five-set epic at the US Open last year. Alcaraz got the win after saving multiple match points. So over the past 52 weeks, shot quality for both these guys, very even and above the tour average. However, Sinner has the advantage in the serve and return department, so he's going to have to use both those things to his advantage to win points. When the rally gets started, Alcaraz actually has the advantage with an 8.1 forehand shot quality and a 7.7 .7 backhand shot quality. And we'll have to use both of those ground strokes to try and beat Sinner in this semi-final. Shot quality is a part of a range of new insights from the team at Tennis Insights. It is calculated in real time and analyzes each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and impact on the opponent. The number of the player cards are actually the 52-week rolling averages. Go check them out on Twitter, link down below. This is going to be a really, really fun matchup, and we've seen these guys play epic matches over the past 12 months. Some of the best matches on the tour, and this is probably one of the most favorite rivalries we've got. I'm going to go with Alcaraz, though. I reckon he's going to beat Sinner in this one, and of course, it's going to be a three-setter. You have to go with that. Probably a tie break or two as well. Why not? I think he's going to make the final, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this one?